Hey guys, happy Tuesday to everyone. So I've made it through the very beginning of my work week. <laughs> Back to work after my vacation and my time off. And um, it's it's always rough kind of readjusting and getting back in the swing of things when you've been out of work for, even if it's just a week, <laughs> it makes a difference. It was a little crazy busy getting back to work yesterday and today wasn't too bad. So it ended up being not such a horrible start to my week. Um, but um, I wanted to pop in and make a video. And I've got little Miss Marley here. And I've been playing around with like cute little headbands because I'm thinking I want to do some sort of like photo shoot for her. And she poses in such beautiful newborn poses that I think that it would be nice to do some sort of like little photo shoot. So I'm kind of getting some ideas. Um, this is one of the fancier little headbands that I've got for her. This I ordered off of Etsy a while back when I had... Um, one of my Janicas and I always thought it would be a beautiful prop and then add like a little pink tutu and then like have them laying on their tummy you know with their head to the side something like that so I'm trying to get some ideas but I really think this actually looks really nice on her and it's fancy I know and I don't normally do headbands on my babies I'm just not really typically one for doing that but for something like this, I think it would be kind of fun. And she's still so hanging out in her diaper. She had an outfit on yesterday and through today. But um, I got home from work, and it is so hot, you guys. We had um, our um, stone floors and some furniture steam cleaned today. So we had the doors open in our house, which we normally don't do because we have air conditioning. And it, I came home and it was about 79 degrees in our house, which is extremely, extremely warm for us. And it's about 90 degrees outside with really high humidity. So <laughs> I came in here because the nursery, because this door was shut um, and stays pretty cool. And because the air conditioning is still running, it's coolest in here actually, but it is still very, very warm outside. So pretty appropriate to leave her in just her little diaper. She looks sweet as ever. I love her. She's such a cute little baby. And I had a comment on one of my previous videos that I was going to address as well. Someone had uh, commented um, if it's safe to leave a pacifier in the baby's mouth for an extended period of time. And so just to kind of address this with all collectors, I think everybody's got a different opinion on it. But um, I always go with the whole or on the side of caution with my dolls. And so when you guys see her with a pacifier in her mouth, it's not always in her mouth. Although she has an open sculpted mouth where having a pacifier in her mouth won't stretch it out. And I usually, the one that I use, I'll show you, has been modified. So I, I've cut the tip off of it so it doesn't have the big bulb on the end. So even when I put it in her mouth, it's narrow enough where I can either leave it in and it's not going to bother her mouth at all. Um, or if I literally, if I just tug it lightly, it comes right out of her mouth because her mouth is, is shaped open, if that makes sense. But for majority of dolls that have open mouths that you actually have to, for, you know, you have to open their little mouths and, and open their lips to get the pacifier in, yes. If you left the pacifier in over time, yes, you could damage the silicone. It could stretch out, apparently. This is according to the artists is what I'm going by. Um, and you also can run the risk of tearing the sides, the edges, the corners of the mouth if you're tugging a lot and taking pass pulling pacifiers in and out of their mouths. So just something to be cautious with, which is why Certain dolls I've been more a fan of putting pacifiers in mouths because I think they look cuter, but it's also because there's an ease to getting it in their mouth. Dolls that I've had in the past that their mouths are pressed pretty closed and they don't look open enough, I don't like to force it and I don't like to um, leave anything. I never left anything in their mouths for long enough just other than maybe to make a video or take a picture, something of that nature. But with this baby, it's actually quite easy to keep the pacifier in her mouth without doing any damage. Look at her. She's got a little hand up by her head. I love the way she poses. The fact that she has armature, it's why I, I think one of the reasons why I love posing her in this way. And then 
and it's why I like to have her head face that direction because I like to have her hand up by her face because that's a newborn thing. When newborns are little, they do tend to bring their fist up against, you know, close to their body and same with their other hand. A lot of babies sleep like that, which is why I'm, I'm always posing her like that. So if you're wondering, it's because to me it, she looks more realistic that way. And that's why you guys will see it time and time again um, with her posing like this. It's not because I don't like looking at her, her face straight on. It's more of the fact that when I come into the nursery and I see her laying there like that, she to me looks like a living newborn. And that's, of course, what it's all about for me, guys. So that's why I usually leave her in positions and poses like this. But I love that I can pose her arms. And if you guys out there that have full body silicone babies, one of the things I've noticed that I, I tend to look for on my dolls is I try to find, <laughs> this may seem weird, this is part of my OCD issues, I think, is that whenever I'm inspecting the baby, whatever baby I've had, I have done this with, FYI. It's not just her, but I always look for seams. I always look to see if I can find the seams, especially on the really well-made babies. You usually can't find them, even though you know there's got to be seams and worse seams at one point in time or another because, you know, unless the mold is done in one piece, um, which I don't think that they do, I could be wrong. But, you know, I've had a range of babies where I can totally see, like, this prominent line going down the outside of their arm, along the side of their tummy, down the side of their legs, and I have yet to be able to find anything that resembles especially like on the side of her tummy. Can't find anything that resembles like um, a mold line. And same with her legs. And I've looked, it's kind of funny. And sometimes I'm like looking at her and I can see like on camera, it looks like this is like a line. Nope, it's not a line, it's the way she's painted. It's funny though, how I look for these things. And I don't know how Claire managed to, to do that. And some artists are better at hiding the mold lines than others. But I'm always super weird about trying to find them. Like literally when the silicone dolls first came out, you literally could see this, this mold line going all the way down, like, you know, around the edges of the head, down the side of the body, because it's usually on the side, they'd open the mold. Um, if it's a sleeve mold, I think those might be poured in one piece or made in one piece. I'm not sure. I don't know. I always, I just find it interesting over the years how, how, much better artists have gotten at this and it's just cool to me I don't know I, I love trying to figure out how they do it because most artists will not share their secrets with us <laughs> and I have asked time and time again like I'm always curious like how do they really get the detail inside that mouth I have no idea and it's it's a secret thing per artist that they do same with the squishy tummy and then, you know, with, with the artists that use the armature, how they get that in there so, you know, evenly so that it works. With Claire's other babies that have a spine and the skull. Like, all of that to me is just so interesting. I would love to see the behind the scenes of an artist, you know, from start to finish. You know, we've, we've seen there are videos up of Claire on Claire's YouTube channel of her sculpting um, the princess baby that she created but I would love to see I would love to see the molding silicone making process and how they actually do it because for me it is very interesting and I probably would be completely wowed by the whole experience of course but it's it's just something I would think would be very cool to see but I know that majority of artists out there will not share their details of how they create these babies and you know it's just one of those big mysteries that I'm super curious about. I just wondered if anybody else out there really thinks about these things or when you're looking over your dolls, do you look for the flaws? I mean, everybody looks for the flaws, of course, but I'm super picky and I like literally go over the doll with a fine tooth comb to try to find them. And um, some dolls, it's much easier to see um, the mold lines than, than others. And I know that they also paint the doll to cover up the different um, imperfections. I know in earlier dolls that was the, the goal was to try to paint to cover up any of the imperfections of um, the silicone coming out of the mold and things like that. But it's just cool to me. 
And I'm, of course, just rambling. I just love to have conversations with all you guys out there. <laughs> You know, my, the, all my Dolly friends out there. But, um, yeah, I just think it's cool. But, um, so, everybody, I hope you're having a great start to your work week. We're almost to, like, midway through. I keep thinking that this week is going to drag on forever because it's a full week. <laughs> it always seems rough going back after vacation, I suppose. But it hasn't been bad so far. So I'm hoping the rest of the week will, you know, slide on by. But hopefully I'll be able to find, um, back to what I was originally talking about, hopefully I'll be able to find like a cute little tutu, a newborn size, because a lot of them are huge. I used to have some, and then I parted with them because I didn't use them for a long period of time. Um, but I, I want to look for some cute props for taking some really neat pictures with her. So if I'm able to do that, I'll definitely share the pictures with you. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. <laughs> I'm going to chill out for the evening and um, hang out with Miss Marley here in the nice, cool nursery. And we will see you guys all soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.